Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would film another what I eat in a day video. You guys seem to really like these videos and they're super fun for me to make. I also think they're really helpful for people who want to go vegan or are on their way to going vegan because you get to see exactly what people are eating and how healthy they are and everything. So I have already had one liter of water and now I'm going to have some breakfast. We don't have a lot of food at the moment so I'm just going to find something to eat in the fridge or pantry and make it work. So let's make some breakfast. So for breakfast, I decided that I'm going to whip up one or two little pancakes. I'm having my pancake recipe. I will leave it in the description below so you can make it yourself. And it's super easy to cut in half just for a smaller serving. So I will just show you guys how I'm going to make it. I'm just going to make it in this little tiny bowl. So hopefully it fits, I'm sure it will. But, but these pancakes are super good and I'm not going to use regular flour because I'm almost out. So I'm going to use some other flour, maybe buckwheat flour. We'll see how it turns out. So the base of my pancake is going to be buckwheat flour. I'm just going to use a half cup of that. And then in addition to that, I'm just going to add a few tablespoons of coconut sugar. And I like using coconut sugar instead of regular sugar. I just like the more molasses-y flavor that it gives, but you can use whatever sugar that you like. A half teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm just mixing this up like you normally would a pancake batter. Oh, and I also forgot I want to add a little bit of cinnamon to give it more flavor. And I'm mixing that in as well. So to make these pancakes a little bit more filling and hold me over for a longer period of time, I've been adding some almond butter in between the two pancakes. I think it really helps satisfy me longer. So I'm just using this unsalted creamy almond butter from Trader Joe's, but I also have the bulk section one, but I like this one a little bit better because it's more spreadable. And I'm just going to drizzle on some maple syrup, obviously, the best. And there we go, there's my breakfast. So for lunch today, I figured that I would just have some leftover basmati rice. This is just plain basmati rice. I'm going to stir fry some veggies and I'm going to add the rice to the veggies and hopefully make like a little yummy stir fry. Where's my lunch?
Alright guys, so I'm just going to have my delicious smoothie bowls. If you follow me on my Instagram, you'll know that I'm doing a 30-day yoga challenge and a March handstand challenge. And every single day, I practice my handstands. I'm really trying to get better at them. And practicing every day, honestly, does help. I have been noticing myself getting much stronger, able to balance better, come off the wall more. I'm very happy with my progress. And for the 30-day yoga challenge, on days I'm not going to yoga, I will do a tiny little flow, about 10 to 15 minutes. And that seems to help me so much with concentration, and being more productive and things like that. So I've been really liking doing yoga every day and I might keep that up next month. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. If you have any more video recommendations for me, if you wanna see any specific recipes or informational videos, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.